Hey everyone, Christina Burgraff here. So as some of you that follow me on my socials know, I went on a trip to California to Disneyland and Universal Studios. After coming home from that trip, I finally thought of a video to do. I'm going to make a tier list of all the Disneyland rides I went on, as well as in California Adventure Park and the few Universal Studios rides I went on. Only one ride will reach the S tier rank, so keep watching to find out what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on this tier list and what your favorite rides are at these parks. I hope you enjoy as I rank my favorite rides I went on during my trip. Here we go. So first up, we have Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. Now, I'm not very good at the shooter rides, but I enjoyed the concept for it. And so I would say this was probably a C. I didn't really enjoy it that much, but you know, it, it's still a ride and it's something that, you know, if someone wants to go on it with me again, then I'll go on it. Next we have Big Thunder. I love Big Thunder. It's going up at A. I really love the fast roller coasters as long as they don't go too crazy on the twists and turns and whatnot. And Big Thunder was perfect for me in that regard. Next we have the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. I was quite bored with this ride. I enjoyed it back when I went with my family in 2010. But on this trip, I was quite bored with it. I enjoyed the technology that was under the water, but I won't go on it again unless someone really wants me to go on it with them. So I would say this is at a C. Up next, we have the Indiana Jones Temple of the Forbidden Eye ride. I loved it. It's nice and fast and bumpy, and it, there's just so much to see. So I would say this is all the way up at A rank. Next, we have the Little Mermaid ride. I'm not big into the storybook rides, so I would say they're probably maybe at, I don't know, should I put it at C or D? I'll say this one is probably at a C. Next we have the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh, and even though this is a storybook ride, it really feels nostalgic going on this ride, especially when you've seen all the Winnie the Pooh movies. It's just fun to see the whole story unfold of Winnie the Pooh in a ride. So I would say this goes up to a B. Next we have the Matterhorn Bobsleds. I really enjoy this ride. Similar to Big Thunder, it's a fast roller coaster that isn't too crazy on twists and turns. And the Yeti may be a little scary, but you get used to it after a little bit. So this is going all the way up to rank A. Up next we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now this isn't my most favorite ride, but I'd say I enjoy it enough to probably ride again. I like the concept of the train cars splitting and everything, but I don't enjoy Mickey's modern voice. Um, but that's just me. I would say I won't go on it unless somebody wants me to ride it again, so I'll put that at a C. Up next we have Mickey's Philhar Magic. I really enjoy this experience. It's not really a ride per se, but it's a lot of fun and I enjoy the fourth wall breaking experiences like the 3D effects and the fact that you get sprinkled with water every now and then and I really enjoyed this so this is going up to B. The Millennium Falcon ride is really interesting for a concept where everyone has to work together to bring in some cargo and fly the ship. It's it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed getting the chance to experience all three positions of the ride 
So, I would say this probably goes up to a B. Up next we have the Monsters Inc. ride, Mike and Sully to the rescue. I would say it's another storybook ride, so I'm putting it at a C. I won't ride it unless someone wants me to. Next we have Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It's another storybook ride and it's fairly short and I really haven't seen the short that goes with this ride, so uh, it's tough for me to say that I really enjoyed it, so um, I would probably put this at a D. Next we have the Peter Pan ride. It's another storybook ride, but unlike the other storybook rides, you're actually up in the air in a ship kind of like the flying ship at the end of the movie. So, I would say this probably goes at a C for me. Next we have Pinocchio's Daring Journey. I love Pinocchio as a movie, and the ride, it's really cute. I love seeing Jiminy Cricket on the ride. It just brings a huge smile to my face. So, I'm gonna say this goes all the way up to a B. Up next is Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, even though it's a slow ride for the most part, and it's quite long, I enjoy this ride for there being quite a bit to see, and it's a good ride for when you're with friends and you just want to talk while there's sights going on and the boat's moving slowly. and. I enjoy the fact that there's several drops, so I would say this goes up to a B for me. Up next is the Radiator Springs Racers. Uh, it's tough to say if I want to put this on A or B, because I really enjoyed the ride for like its animatronic work. It's fairly fast to start with, then it gets faster in the race sequence. So, I would say, hmm, maybe this goes up to a B for me. Next is the Roger Rabbit ride. I didn't really enjoy this ride as much. I'll probably put it at a D. There is the option for you to spin around, but I don't like being spun around. I'm glad that my friend decided not to spin me around during the ride. We did a little bit of spinning, but not much. And, like, there's some, there's some pretty good, like, gags and, like, things to see and whatnot in the ride, but it's definitely not my favorite. So, yeah, it's going to D. Silly Symphony Swings! I love Silly Symphony Swings. This one is the ride that goes up to rank S. It is my most favorite ride. And it, it's tough to say, like, the exact reason why it's my most favorite ride. I think there's just something about classical music while the wind is in your face and you're high up that just hits me in such a good way. And uh, plus the band concert is my favorite Mickey Mouse cartoon. So I guess those are the main reasons why Silly Symphony Swings is my most favorite ride. Next we have Soren, specifically Soren over California. It's not my most favorite ride, but it's something I'm willing to ride again. I enjoy the smells that pop up every once in a while. I would say probably a rank C. I won't go on it unless people that go with me want to ride the ride again. Next we have Space Mountain. I love Space Mountain. Similar to Big Thunder and Indiana Jones and Matterhorn, that's going up to an A rank. It's nice and fast. I was a little bit scared at first riding Space Mountain because it was so dark, but it's nice and fast and I've gotten used to it after riding it like five times. 
So, yeah, I love Space Mountain. It's an A rank. Next, we have the Spider-Man Web Slingers ride. Hmm, where would I put this one? I would say probably a C. It's not my most favorite ride. Although, I was surprised to find out that even though this was a shooter ride, that I was actually quite good at it. I actually beat my friend when we went on this ride together. So, that was surprising to me. But, it's not my most favorite ride, so I'll just go on it again when someone wants me to. Next, we have Star Tours. I did not like Star Tours. It got me really motion sick to the point that I was so close to vomiting. So, that's going an F. I'm sorry. I understand that Star Wars is kind of a big thing in Disneyland, and I, and I love the concept for this ride, but... I just didn't like how motion sick it made me. So if you get motion sick easily, don't ride Star Tours. Next we have Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. It was okay. I mean, I'll go on it again if people want me to. So that's going as C. I, <laughs> my friend was disappointed to know that I didn't enjoy this ride as much as he wanted me to. But... I really love the concept of how, like, you ride on the ship, then, like, the entire room changes as you go out the same door that you came in, so that was cool, but I don't know. There's just something about it that I didn't enjoy, so, yeah. Well, that is all the Disneyland and California Adventure rides. Up next, we have the three rides I went on at Universal Studios. First up is Jurassic World. Jurassic World was quite fun, actually. I quite enjoyed it, so I would say this goes up to a B. It's a little scary at times, but, you know, it, it, it was really good for a boat ride. Next we have the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge ride at Super Nintendo World. It's really good. I like it. I would say it's another shooter ride, but it's the best shooter ride that I've ever been on. <sighs> Should I put it at an A rank or a B rank? Probably at a B rank, because I probably don't enjoy it as these rides at an A rank. But. I still quite enjoyed it. Then finally, we have the Revenge of the Mummy ride. And it's quite spooky. So, and I only went on it once. I bet if I went on it several times, it would probably be an A rank. But for now, I'm going to put it at a B rank. And that's all the rides that I went on during my trip. So... Yeah, again, let me know your thoughts on this tier list and if you have any favorite rides that are of this list. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in another upload.